In this example, we're given the graph of a function, and we're being asked all kinds of information about various limits, one-sided, um, full limits, as well as function values, um, kind of in behavior when we're talking about limits going off to positive and negative infinity. So there's just all kinds of interesting things we can look at um, for this particular uh, graph. And so what we're going to do is uh, just take these one thing at a time. I'm going to highlight on the graph where we're looking to get our answer um, in each case so that you can kind of see what we're uh, doing along the way. So as we're looking here at the first one, the limit as x goes to negative infinity of the function. So as we're going to negative infinity, we're talking about the left-hand arrow, that final left-hand arrow. So there's the area we're looking at. Uh, we see that as x goes off to negative infinity, the function value is going up without bound. So we're saying then that the function is going to um, positive infinity. So we'll go ahead and say our answer there is positive infinity. Uh, looking at the next one, we're talking about the limit as x goes to 0. So as x goes to 0, we are looking uh, right in this area right here. Um, the function is nice and continuous there, so uh, both from the left and the right and right there at the function, um, we're at the uh, y value of 2. See, these limit values are really y values, or perhaps you could think about it as y directions for the infinity cases. So um, for this particular one, as x approaches 0, our function is approaching f of 0, which is 2. And so we've got the answer of 2. Okay, uh, the next three or four really are all dealing about what's happening at x equals 2. And so just looking at the graph, we do see kind of a hole there um, where the two sides are kind of attached to that hole. But then we've got a solid dot somewhere else. And um, so let's assess these individually. So when we're talking about limit as x goes to 2 minus, we're talking about the x values to the left of 2, a little bit smaller than 2. So we're talking about um, looking at the function right in there. So as we're coming in from the left, we're approaching that hole that's at the y value of 1. So our left-hand limit there is 1. Whoops, we want to not do that with a highlighter. Let's switch. 1. All right, back to the highlighter. Limit as x goes to 2 from the positive side is now going to be uh, right in here. Um, we're approaching from the right-hand side of 2, and we're again approaching that hole that's at the y value uh, of um, 1 again. And so then we've got the right-hand limit is also 1. So since the right-hand limit and the left-hand limit are both 1, we can say then that that full limit, uh, limit as x goes to 2, where we don't indicate the sign, is the matching value. So this um, is coming from the fact that we already assessed the two one-sided limits. They match, and so the matching value is the function value. So then back to, um, or sorry, the matching value is not the function value, my mistake. The matching value is the limit value where we're not specifying the side. Now when we move to function value, we're looking for the solid dot. Here's our solid dot. That solid dot, when we input 2, we look all along that vertical line and we see that the solid dot happens to be at the level of y equals negative 2. And so the function value there is negative 2. Notice that the function value negative 2 is not matching the limit value, which was that hole in the graph there at the level of 1. So moving into um, what's happening at 3 is next. Uh, 3, again, we kind of have this nice continuous function there at 3. Uh, it happens to be um, that the graph crosses the x-axis there at 3. And what that's telling me here is since it's nice and continuous, um, the, the limit value as x approaches 3 is actually the function value f of 3. And f of 3 there is 0. And so that would be our limit value. Um, whoops, I'm going to have to, there we go. Okay, so now the next four, it, just like we looked carefully at what was happening at two, something interesting is happening at four. So we're going to assess that uh, completely with the next four situations here. So uh, we look here, limit as x goes to four from the left-hand side. We're looking at values slightly less than four on the x-axis. And so the left-hand side is that arrow there. And that arrow is going down without bound. And so uh, down without bound there was going to be the value, or the limit limit value, negative infinity, okay? 
Um, the next one is what's happening from the right-hand side of 4. So the right-hand side of 4, now we're looking at x values slightly bigger than 4. That's where they are to the right. And we see that that highlighted arrow there is the one that we're looking at. And so the function there increases, goes up without bound, and so our answer there is going to be positive infinity. Oh, again, let's try pencil. Here we go. So now uh, we are able to answer the um, full limit by looking at the two one-sided limits and seeing if they match. So uh, limit as x goes to 4, we look at the previous two entries and we see that one of them is negative infinity and one of them is positive infinity. Those two values don't match. And so um, what we then can say, all we can say, is that limit does not exist. So I'll just write D and E for does not exist. Uh, the last thing that we want to assess at 4 is what's the function value. So if we input 4, what's my output value? Well, I look at 4 and I see that there's a vertical asymptote. And sometimes you can have, you know, solid dots along a vertical asymptote where the vertical asymptote is really just guiding the arrows. But here in this case, we don't have a solid dot at all at 4. And so um, that function value also does not exist. So then the very last thing that we are going to assess about this uh, particular graph given is the limit as x goes to infinity. So as x goes to infinity, we're talking about the right right arrow, the end arrow there at the right. And so we see that it's approaching this horizontal asymptote, and that horizontal asymptote is at the level of y equals 3. And so um, that's going to be our final answer there for, um, for our limit as x goes to infinity. That's going to be the 3 value. So the one take-home message here that I really recommend you um, getting into your brain is that limit values are y values or y directions if you want to think about plus and minus infinity in there too. So really keep in mind that we're talking x approaching things. Those are x values we're looking at. But to get the limit answers, we're looking at the y's. And so that's what you should um, always kind of pay attention to as you are answering these questions.